illegal immigrants are put on planes and flown deep into Mexico, take a look at what we videotaped just a week and a half ago. This immigration and customs enforcement van is carrying two illegal immigrants who just finished serving time in prison. They're headed for the border. When the van arrives at the port of entry, the doors open. The violent offenders step outside. They're handed their belongings and are simply set free back to Mexico. On the other side of the border, we talk to them about what they are planning to do next. Give us a said, what are you going to do now? Uh, with, uh, this man says he'll turn right around and try to make it back to California, where his family lives. Critics say these are the people who should be flown deep into Mexico. It's an issue federal officials have a hard time addressing. Taking people who are likely to come back across the border and just dumping them off at the border, is that, is that the only way to do it? It's not the only way that we're deporting them. It, it's one of the ways that we are deporting, you know, individuals to Mexico. Katrina Kane from Immigration and Customs Enforcement says her agency has limited choices on how to deport criminals. But that doesn't make much sense to Scott Berkowitz of RAIN, an organization that lobbies Congress on behalf of rape victims. Do you think that the government needs to come up with a better way to deal with this segment of the sex offender population? The best thing we can do is to keep them in prison for a much longer time. Sex offenders and other ex-cons who are caught re-entering the U.S. can face new prison terms as long as 20 years. But the two men we met up with in Mexico say that is simply no deterrent. Their Mexican homes are thousands of miles to the south. The U.S. is just across a fence. When a U.S. citizen who's a sex offender gets out of prison, they need to register as a sex offender where they live. That system doesn't always work, but at least there's a system in place. In the case of immigrant sex offenders, once they sneak back into the U.S., there's no way to keep track of them. I'm Morgan Lowe for CBS 5 Investigates.